we are on air and uh hello everyone on youtube um, hi yep this is okay. Gio, our okay, business advisor in uh, hong kong napad and uh, i am big student senior marketing officer and uh, we are both now in hong kong and we are going to do a webinar in tagalog today so yes the language we are using will be tagalog and uh, after my introduction and then we will jump into the um, demo for this week so um later geo will translate um a little bit and then <coughs> you will um, introduce so do for you guys and then do a demo and then at the end of this webinar we will have a q a session if you have any question you can um, ask your question in the chat box down below all right so let's get started shall we all right Hi, uh, magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. Um, so, ang topic na i-present ko ngayon ay about um, Odoo as a best tool for uh, freelancers. So, um, paano, ba, paano ba natin magagamit yung Odoo in such a way na um, kahit hindi tayo talaga nag-work sa corporate world, na madali pa rin natin siya magagamit kahit nasaan tayo, nasaan tayong lugar, um, kahit na um, malayo tayo sa mga uh, office mates natin or uh, basically you just you, you just need your laptop kailangan mo lang yung computer mo and you can actually work on the go um, okay so let me just uh, present my uh, my screen here so uh, sa pagkakaalam nyo naman na ang Odoo ay isang um, uh, website or business management software na uh, nandun na lahat ng inyong kailangan sa mga sa inyong mga pagninegosyo so uh, pero bagong lahat ka, uh, papakilala ko lang sarili ko so ang pangalan ko ay Gio Dalisa galing ako sa Philippines pero I'm one of the business advisors of Odoo here in uh, Hong Kong and um, I can help you in a way that um, makukunin ko yung mga pangangailangan nyo sa, sa, sa business and um, aalamin ko yung mga, yung mga kailangan nyo um, kailangan nyo uh, i-address sa inyong mga uh, uh, operations and doon madidiscuss ko kung ano yung pinaka uh, re <coughs> pinaka recommended na module for your uh, company so Yung, yung, plan, yung agenda for, for, for today would be ipapakilala ko lang yung company sa inyo kung ano yung ginagawa niya and ano yung, since ang topic natin is Odoo as best tool for freelancers um, ipapakita ko sa inyo yung flow na kunyari meron kayong uh, e-commerce uh, website paano nyo, ma, paano nyo mabibenta yung produkto nyo eventually at after nyo mabenta yung produkto nyo Siyempre, magkakaroon kayo ng uh, customer, di ba? Tapos, from the customer, um, gagawa sila ng order from the website online. Magkakaroon kayo ng sale. So, paano nyo mamamanage yung uh, sales order nyo from all your customers? Tapos, pag, na, pag nagkaroon kayo ng, ng, uh, ng sales order at the back end, paano nyo siya imamanage? So, magkakaroon ka, kunyari, ng project. So, Itong, itong company na to, uh, development, solutions development company, kunyari software developer ka na freelance, and ilalog mo yung time mo dun sa project, paano mo manage yung project mo for all your clients, even if you're not, you know, situated in an office uh, setting. So, you create your quotation, and paano mo ma-analyze yung pagtatrabaho mo dun sa particular project na yun ng, 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 ng mabilisan. So af afterwards, um, magkakaroon tayo ng discussion, Mag, um, you can ask me questions, kahit anong gusto nyo tanong, uh, sasagutin ko. Sige. So what is uh, Odoo? It's uh, fully integrated, as I said, lahat ng kailangan mo sa pagninegosyo nandito na. Madali siya gamitin kasi um, mamaya may kita nyo pag ginawa ko na yung demo na sobrang um, linis niya tingnan, hindi siya magulo, uh, very modern interface and um hindi kayo malilito basically kahit yung employee nyo yung mga employee nyo sa iba't ibang lugar kahit arali nila to mabilis sila matututunan yung yung software okay so Odoo right now is one of the most used application 
sa buong mundo. Um, as you can see, we have 32 uh, support, supported languages, um, 4.1 million happy users. In over the four years, the last four years, we've been growing drastically, um, exponential growth as a company. Um, yeah, so we right now we have uh, seven offices worldwide, but in, in the future, we, we're going to be opening uh, more offices. So we're going to increase that very soon. Um, we have uh, so many app stores, uh, so many applications sa app store na depende sa kung anong klaseng business ka. Kunyari, yung standard Odoo, hindi niya na meet yung pangailangan mo. Pag pumunta ka sa app store, merong mga third-party module na actually pwede mo ding magamit sa business. So, ano ba yung strength ng company na to? Bakit nito yung kailangan mo i-gamitin compared sa ibang company? First of all, as I said, it's fully integrated. So, hindi mo na kailangan magpaiba-iba ng subscription sa iba't ibang company. Tapos, you can, pwede kang maka-save ng, because of that, you can actually save more more on time para sa implementation. You can save on cost. Kasi hindi mo na nga kailangan mag-implement ng uh, iba't ibang software. And in, re in, in return, you get your ROI faster and then you have um, better productivity in general. So, dito sa, may kita mo dito sa, ano na to, sa, sa uh, illustration, na before yung mga company, kailangan nila mag-subscribe sa sobrang daming application na in the end, instead of making everything simple and, um, uh, efficient, mas nagiging magulo pa kasi nagkakaroon ng um, data integrity problems, nagkakaroon, mas mabagal yung uh, administrative work. So that's where we came in. Dun, dun pumasok yung Odoo at dun niya in-address na kailangan integrated, affordable, and modern. So easy to use for everyone. So what? who are the clients using Odoo? So we have a lot of uh, very reputable companies who are already using the system. Um, starting from um, large enterprises like Jamba Juice, Food Panda, ito Food Panda very popular in the Philippines. Uh, yun day uh, consulting. So iba iba yung industry na gumagamit ng system kasi madali siya gamitin and at the same time na address niya kahit magkakaiba pa yung task ng mga business because of the flexibility of the system. So you can customize it um, depending on your uh, operations. Um, there are many ways to actually um, uh, fit tailor fit Odoo to to every need of of your business. Okay, so now I'm gonna go with a demo. I'm gonna proceed with the demo. So, how can Odoo actually be the best tool for freelancers like you guys? Uh, I would assume that you guys who are watching right now are um, very much interested to to know Odoo. How you can utilize Odoo, um, even if you're working remotely from all over the world in uh, how to make some some money so let's go so right now the this uh, the setup would be i'm going to show you the flow so so from so, simula sa website mag set up ka ng shop mo so itong uh, hypothetical hypothetical shop na to it's a software development company so let's say you are um, um an IT guy na freelance and you want to um, do development, you want to create apps on the go for your uh, clients. Um, and also, you put, you post your products like development. Um, you want to post um, app app creation on the website. And from there, you manage, again, you manage your sales, your project. Um, you, you invoice the client, you issue the receipt. And then you manage also your expenses. So, for example, you have to do client meetings. Tapos, kailan mo gastos sa yung project? Paano mo manage yung expenses? mo and the employees mo and also ma analyze mo din yung profitability and uh, reporting ng, ng, ng isang project so may kita mo kung profitable ba yung yung pinag pinag mo ng oras okay demo so yeah so let me just go to the demo now So, may kita mo dito na wait, wait lang. So, may kita mo dito kunyari yung mga mga kliyente mo 
sa sa negosyo ito yung example ano example company to kunyari kumpanya mo to Odoo Digital Solutions so may kita mo dito nandito yung um, uh, description ng business mo web ito yung website so may kita mo sa shop mo nandito yung products mo ako yung kunyari sample client ako ah. so uh, maglalagout muna ako so it, at the back end ikaw mismo na gumagamit ng Odoo, ito yung may kita mo sa 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 ano mo sa sa side mo. Tapos um, dito mo mamamanage yung website. So if I go to the website right now. <coughs> the uh, no matter kung ano man yung binibenta mo na produkto, dito mo siya may edit. So you can edit it and then you can put uh, as what I did, for example, here, I put the cover. Nilagyan ko siya ng cover. Nilagyan, pwede ko lagyan ng picture. Like this. Or I can put um, product list, etc. So, as you can see, it's e very easy to use. The interface is very easy. You can even add, you can even save it. And also, you can add more products. Like, you have a blog, you have an event. Um, you can connect it to your uh, social media. <clears throat> so here, you can see here, uh, where's the Facebook page, for example. So I will put here Facebook and then Facebook page and I can add my social media link and then I can save. And also, nandito rin yung mga products ko sa system. So, may kita ko, as a software developer, uh, freelance, I have my products here. So, these are the services that I provide. So, I provide app implementation, uh, IT consulting, gap analysis, development service, etc. So, dito mo yun may edit. So, let's say... Ako yung customer. Pupunta ako sa website dito, odoo.com. So, magsa-sign in ako. Okay. Geo. Okay. So, ito yung account ko as a customer kasi Gusto ko, gusto ko mag-avail ng mga services mo. So, I will buy, say, kailangan meron akong project sa business ko. Kailangan ko bumili ng um, development service. So, I get, say, two development service. I go continue shopping. And then, uh, gusto ko malaman kung ano ba talaga yung requirement ko. Ano ba yung kailangan sa business ko na mas, mas, mas mapapaunlad niya yung process. So, maybe I can go gap analysis. And then, so so I can give you my requirement and you can give me the fa uh, the different phases as to how I can improve my business. So, I can add to cart, for example. And now, I can proceed with the checkout. So, you can have your own payment gateway with Odoo. As a client, they can pay in PayPal, you can pay uh, Stripe, you can do wire transfer as well. So, for example, I can do uh, wire transfer. And then pay now. Okay. So now that I'm paid, so thank you for your purchase. And then eventually, as a freelance developer, you will receive the, the sales order from this. So now I will show you at the back end, ano yung mangyayari. Uh, let me go to my shop okay now so when i go to my uh sales module may kita mo dito nagkaroon ako ng sales order sales order number four so bubuksan ko siya so ito yung in order ng client so two hours of development service and one hour of gap analysis so what I will do now would be um, I will look 
so you can see here all the this the, the sales uh, order um and then automatically the system will send a uh, a quotation so it depends you can have your own payment gateway and then send the invoice right away or also you can send a quotation first and then you can um, converse it with the client and then the client can actually confirm it with you if um, he, 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 he's okay with the quotation and you can proceed um, with uh, the service. So here Odoo sends the, the, the sales order right away. So if I go to my email, so this is the email of the client. I just refresh. So here, Odoo Limited Services Quotation. So dear test user, here's a quotation for your service and here's the here's the uh, sales order. So development service, gap analysis, etc. And you can even view the sales order here in the uh, customer portal. So yung customer portal, dun, dun yung pwede pag-usapan kung okay ba yung quotation, may mga iba pa yung kailangan, may, pag, may mali ba dun sa, sa sinulat, sa in order. So dito mas 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 mabilis kayo magkakaroon ng ng agreement with the client na nang mabilisan. So kunyari mag, mag uh, sabihin ko okay na tong quotation. And then you can even send it before actually paying. So or even like accept and pay. And then you can do PayPal, wire transfer, pay and confirm, for example. And then there so accept and pay and then off na yung quotation so i will go back to the back end and if i go back to quotation and go sales number four you see pag nakita na ng customer mo yung quotation magkakaroon ng note sa system mo na nakita niya na yung quotation so hindi nakakalito malalaman mo kagad oh pwede mo sabihin sa customer mo na oh nakita mo na pala yung quotation anong anong ano sa palagay mo and then may kita mo din kung nagbayad na siya so selected wire transfer to pay the document. So now we can proceed with the sales order. I can confirm it. And then now automatically Odoo creates a project task for your uh, service. Um, <clears throat> in here, um, the, the service that you actually provide um, will perform, uh, will be can be configured in the system. So this one happened because I configured the product to be service and it creates a task. So when I go to the products, these are all the products that I have created. So ito yung binili ng client, gap analysis and uh, pre, uh, development service. So for gap analysis, ang ginawa ko dito, um, so pwede mo siya i-configure according to your, uh, to your uh, business. So general information, it's uh, service, uh, product category, all, sales. So I, I created it service invoicing policy. So when you create a timesheet, dun mo siya pwede ma-invoice. So timesheet on task. So your employee, when they perform a service for this particular, uh, pro, uh, for this particular project, then they can uh, just put in the timesheet and then you can invoice the client uh, right away. And then it creates a new project depending on the sales order. So it's also the same uh, configuration for development um, service, uh, create timesheet on task. So now let me go back to the sales order quotation. And we get, we get to see the project overview. So ito na yung project kasi ito na yung project na in order ng client mo. May kita mo dito, wala pang timesheet na nagawa. So, wala pang, nagawang, wala pang nagawang task for this particular project. Tapos, may kita mo rin yung profitability ng project. May kita mo yung, yung services, kung kailan niya ginawa, anong, uh, ilang oras, etc. So, now what I can do would be, I can go to the task. So, ito yung task na, na kailan ko gawin for this project. So let's say gap analysis yung nauna kasi we get the requirements of the client and then we edit. So I go to timesheet. So let's say today I have uh, two employees. So employee one. So one of my colleagues from say I am in Hong Kong. The other one is in uh, Philippines. So ang gagawin niya, uh, 
uh, gap analysis, uh, kick off or like requirement list kick off task, for example. And then, so ang planned hours na binili ng client is one hour and nagawa mo one hour. So, si save mo lang. So, may kita mo yung progress. It depends on the number of hours. So, kunyari, yung hours na binili ng client is 10 hours as nagawa mo lang is one hour. Then, it will be 10%. And then you can only invoice 10% of the billable hours. So dun mo may kita kung paano mo siya may invoice, depende kung paano mo na configure. Kasi yung pagka-configure ko sa kanya is um, uh, timesheet, uh, billable timesheet on, on task. So, okay. So now it's done. So now we go to the other task, development service. So ang binili niya is 2 hours for the development service. So let's say edit and then employee, employee 2. Description, uh, dev task, for example, and say two hours, and then save. So, nagawa niya na rin yung progress, or pag may kita mo dito, ginawa kong one hour lang, 50%. Okay, so two hours, and then now what we're gonna do is um, we go to the sales order again. So, may kita mo automatically Odoo will it changes to blue. Ibig sabihin nun, you can actually invoice the services already because you have completed it. And you have uh, input the timesheet. So, if when I go back to, um, so you see here, two hours timesheet. Um, if you, I click on it and then I see all the timesheets. So, I, it says here, Two hours for development service, one hour for gap analysis, and I go back, go to project overview. So you see here that you need to invoice, so the price on the website is actually 500, but the cost is only 340. So do you know where this came from? The 340, I will show you how it, uh, how it was uh, generated. So, dun sa employees mo, meron silang, uh, um, rate, diba? Iba-iba yung rate ng employees per hour. So, sabi natin yung senior developer, ang rate niya 120 per hour. The other one would be 100 per hour kasi junior developer siya. So, may kita mo dito yung performance ng project. And then, if I go to module and I go to my employees, so may kita mo, ito yung employee one, which is the Pag pumunta ako sa HR settings, 100 per hour yung bill niya. So, ang ginawa ni employee 1, 1 hour lang. Tapos, pag pumunta ako kay employee 2, ang ginawa niya, 2 hours, so 240. So, 240 plus 100, so 340 in total. So, yun yung kumbaga, total cost ng project. So, if I go back to the project and I go here to sales order 4, um... No, sorry. I go back to sales. And then I go to sales order 4. So now I can create an invoice. Invoiceable lines, create invoices. Now I created an invoice. Automatically, Odoo recognizes the next mo the next obvious move para hindi nalilito yung mga employee or yung mga tago sa system. Hindi siya nakakalito. Mabilis siya masundan. So now you can actually invoice the client because you've done the task and then validate register payment so you can connect it to your bank um and then payment amount 500 validate and then now it's done so it's already paid here you can see so you see here uh the task has been done um the other scenario i would like to show you is um Project based on ordered quantities. So the project based on ordered quantities, babayaran mo lang, babayaran ka lang ng company, kumbaga prepaid yung whole project, hindi siya by hours. So ang ginawa ko dito sa, sa product na to, for example, this one, um, I, kaya consulting. So consulting, ang ginawa ko, if you go to um, the sales configuration, ang ginawa ko, uh, I clicked on ordered quantities, service yung invoicing policy niya, hindi siya timesheet on task as opposed to dun sa unang example. The second one naman is 
and then it will create a new task in the project pag may nag-order. So sabihin natin may nag-order na client, sabihin natin itong customer na to, kunyari, kunyari si Thor, ordered, um, let's make a quotation. So, Thor ordered consulting services from you. And say he needs uh, 10 hours. And then save. So it's 5,000 in total. 5,000 USD. Pero syempre, pwede mo baguhin yung pricing. Ito naka USD lang yung system. Pero pwede mo gawing PHP yung, 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 yung pricing. So now, automatically, when I confirm, it creates a new task again. So profitability. So when you when you go to the project profitability, uh, may kita mo dito, wala pa siyang... Um, uh, again, wala siyang value. But when I go to the task, may kita mo, automatically, it creates a task for you. Prepaid IT Consulting. So when I go to Project Module, automatically created another task for Thor, so, which is the customer, sales order number 5. I click on it, Prepaid IT Consulting, I need 5 hours. So sabihin natin, yung employee mo, or ikaw, for example, ako, <coughs> so, bina then uh, mm, requirement analysis in consultation. Uh, let's say six hours, employee two. Consultancy, configuration, consult, uh, customization, consultancy, three hours. So save. So hindi mo pa natatapos yung task. So hindi mo pa siya pwede ma-invoice. If pumunta ako sa sales order ko, may kita mo dito, ordered quantity 10, um, uh, 9 delivered quantity. If I go to project overview, may kita mo fixed. Kasi, um, hindi siya by timesheet, so yung billing mo is by fix. So, kailangan matapos mo muna yung, uh, yung task uh, ba based on dun sa in-order sa'yo ng client in total. So, may kita mo kung employee 1, ilan yung ginawa niya, ilan yung ginawa ni employee 2. So, let's say, employee... Timesheet, edit, add line, employee to, employee to again, did another uh, development consultation. For example, for one hour, save. <clears throat> and then now, if you go to back to your sales order, you can see, um, you can actually create now an invoice. Um, and then you can put invoiceable lines. And then automatically creates an invoice again for you. And then validate. Register payment. Uh, validate, for example, 5,000. And now you're paid. So, kung bagay, pinagkaiba lang nung una, billable timesheet siya. So, you can just invoice right away, depending on how many hours you have already rendered for that particular company or project. And the other one would be ordered quantities. So, kumbaga prepaid for the whole uh, duration of the project na yun. The whole con IT consulting for 10 hours, for example. So, the last example I will show you would be the milestone. So, the milestone usually, every time na may natatapos ka, kumbaga may natatapos kang project, uh, may, kung, kung baga, within the project, may natatapos kang task na kailangan mo matapos, which, which is in, in this term, a milestone for you. Um, so in this scenario, what I will do is, for example, the, the, the business ordered three modules. So pinapagawa ka niya ng tatlong application 
for the business. So every application would be a milestone. Pag natapos mo na yung app, application 1, milestone 1 yun for you. So pwede mo na siya i-invoice. Tapos milestone 2, milestone 3. App 2, app 3. So let's say I go back to my sales order. I create a quotation. Um, say for user 2, a test user. I will add uh, app implementation. I ordered three applications. So, kailangan ko ng app for my inventory. Kailangan ko ng app for my sales. Kailangan ko ng app for my marketing automation. So, validity, end of the month, hypothetical scenario. And then, ang ginawa ko pala dito, automatic, pag sinave ko siya and kinonfirm ko, project overview lang, wala siyang ginawang task. Kasi ang configuration na ginawa ko for the app, when I click on it, I edit. I did milestones, so manually set quantities on, or on order. And nilagay ko din na uh, create new project, but you don't create a task, basically. So, I save. If I go back to the sales order, Sales number six, and I go to the project, again, nothing in here. But when I go to the project module, I go to uh, sales order number six. So, wala, wala kang may kitang uh, task, basically. So, let's say, ikaw yung gagawa mismo ng stages for your project. So, you say analysis. Um... And you say configuration, production, uh, done, something like that. So in here, can you create? So if I go here, um, so for example, I create a task for app one app implementation one and add and then when i look at it so sales order number six diba so ito ako na yung gumawa app, application implementation one say uh, uh, let's just say put app like let's just put app one for example app one and then on timesheet, um, let's say edit. So it depends kung kunyari kahit ilang oras yung, um, kahit ilang oras yung um, ma-render mo for this particular app doesn't matter kasi you're not looking at the timesheet, eh? you're looking at milestones. So let's say add line and then I look employee one, description, app, Requirement, um, task, the uh, kick off task. Say uh, two hours save, and then automatically. So for example, like employee two collaborated with employee one, and then configuration. Configuration. They done uh, eight hours for the configuration of the app. Save. So now, if we go to the task, you can even set activities here, and then put meeting for today. Uh, meeting afternoon schedule, and then after like the analysis requirement, the kickoff. You put the app to um, configuration, and then eventually you put it into production. So you're gonna test the app, and then eventually it's done. You can even put here ready for next stage. Um, you can create another one, app two. Add. So you can put like you can put here when you put mm, blocked. So for example, you had a problem 
and then you can also your um, employees your colleagues from other countries can like say planned hours would be 10 with this app kasi kunyari sanay na kayo gawin yung application na to alam niyo ning estimate na 10 hours so edit you put sabihin natin ang gumawa lang si employee 1 app customization and testing so sabihin natin siya lang yung gumawa sabihin natin ito 8 hours pa lang yung nagagawa niya so if I go to the task ito done kunyari done so when I go to the sales order app 1 is already done if I go to the sales order sales number 6 and then edit I could just put here one is done and then it says here you uh you can be um the order quantity would be three so um the unit price would be one thousand so you can actually save create invoice and invoice symbolize the dock down payment so the down payment would be one thousand because like only one app has been done create invoices and yet yeah, there automatically um oh Why is it um, subtotal? Invoices. Okay, so the invoice would be 1,000. So, kasi one app pa lang yung nagagawa. Validate. And then register payment. Let's validate. Okay, so if I go to the sales order. So, sabihin natin when you go to the, the project task. Sabi natin itong app 2 dumaan siya sa configuration, dumaan siya sa production. Tapos if you edit the timesheet um automatically okay me said done testing and then ilagay mo dito 2 so automatically tapos na yung project for app 2 tapos na siya. <coughs> I go to the task okay tapos na done. Now I can go back to my uh, sales order and then edit. I can put to save. And now I can invoice again the client. So now I can invoice again, deduct down payment, create invoice. And then I can put, um, I can put here, app implementation, validate, register payment, validate 1000 again for the other app so it's the same thing for the third app if i go to uh the project for the th the last application we create app three and to be that then for app three add and then go here edit so timesheet planned hours would be 15 hours to be that then anusha MRP, manufacturing app. So, medyo mahirap yung pag, pagkakagawa. So, lalagay ko dito. Sabi natin, si employee 2, uh, config, prod, analysis, production, uh, consultancy. So, siya lahat gumawa ng app. Sabi natin. So, ginawa niya 15 hours. Save. Now, Everything's done. If you go back to your uh, task, you can put app three as done. And I go to my project. I go to this one. I go to app three. I go to the sales order. And I can edit. I can put here delivered quantity three. And now save. Automatically create invoice again. And now the dock down payment, create invoices three invoices I can here this one I can go to the invoice again and then validate it okay so now it's done you register the payment everything's done you fulfill the transaction so yun yung pinagkakaiba ng different projects na nakita mo which you can easily do on Odoo so you have a lot of configurations you have a lot of flexibility as to how you will handle different uh, service projects for your clients as a as a developer as a freelance developer and so now all of 
this uh, all of these uh, invoices flows into your accounting. I can also show you how expenses. So for example, syempre pag nagre-render ka ng project mo sa different clients, misan i-meet mo sila, kailangan mo gumastos like lunch, for example. Um, so this one if you go here, you can see here customer invoices. Lahat dito ng invoices na na-generate mo for your projects. Kino compile na siya ni Odu so man makikita mo mabilis mo na lang ma-generate yung mga reports mo kung may credit notes ka merong hindi nagbayad makikita mo dito lahat ng payments mo customers mo nandito din so ito yung lahat ng customers ko nandito uh, vendors ko kung meron akong binibilhan na, na na supplier o for or, for my products or services that I rendered nandito din lahat accounting entries lahat dito lahat kung may bud, uh, meron kang uh, balance sheet uh, here, you have your profit and loss statement. So, nandito na rin lahat. Meron ka rin, mamaya papakita ko yung analytic report, how it works. So, now, if I go to my expenses, so, itong expenses are important to for freelancers kasi that render services like an IT solutions company kasi Usually, di ba, pagka may, meron kang mga project, like, kailangan mo mag-travel, siguro kailangan mo mag-meet up sa client mo for a uh, specific project, magkukuha ka ng requirement, magkakaroon kayo ng uh, meeting. So, you can actually create here an expense. So, like, let's just make it very uh, simple. Lunch with your, with client A, for example. Tapos sabihin natin, it will flow into your expenses um, field on your accounting report. Tapos as a company, kunyari, as a freelance company, so kunyari, um, meron kayong budget for um, expenses ng mga workmates mo or kahit mag-isa ka lang, meron kang budget for that, you can put it paid by company or paid by the employee to be reimbursed. Um, let's just say, um, kaya tatlo kayong freelance, tapos, um, analytic account. So, saan mo i-associate yung expense na yon? So, so ito, naka-differentiate naka, naka siya by sales order. So, you can, you can change the name of the project. So, say, project A, project 1, project 2, project 1, project 2, project 3. Pero, Hindi, hindi, hindi naka ano siya, generic siya ngayon kasi based siya dun sa in order ng mga clients mo online. So sabi natin associated siya with project 4. And then sabi natin uh, company, for example, or employee. Sabi natin. Save. So you can attach the receipt para meron kang reference or you can create a report. And then you can submit to the managers. Kaya freelance kayo, tapos dalawa kayong partner, you can submit it to each other para may reference kayo sa isa't isa kung ano ba, tal ano ba yung naging expenses niyo for this particular project that you are handling. And then you can submit it to manager. And then, uh, so as a manager, marireceive ko to, or as a partner, makita ko to. So, nakita ko, oh, you spent, uh, wait, you edit the expense, sabi natin, the unit price would be, say, 50. Save. And then save. And then approve. Or you can refuse. Post to journal entries para sa accounting report mo. Register payment. Okay. Validate. Payment method. Cash. Validate. Okay, now, so now that the expenses have been paid for this particular project, then now you can actually see your expense report here that you need to approve, to post, or to pay. Yung expense reports mo, lunch with client A, or lunch with client B, for example. So now if I go to my uh, expense analysis, you can also see here the different expense reports. Um, actually, Odoo has different reports for all the modules. So earlier, you have the sales. If I look at reporting, may kita mo may mga reports dito kung ilan ba yung total sales mo. You can see here, total sales, 16,000, for example. You can look at it in uh, line, um, 
bar chart, uh, line chart, or you can look at it in pie chart. Um, the same as with um, your accounting, you can have accounting reports. So, okay, analytic report here. So, may kita mo here yung profitability ng project mo. So, ito yung sinasabi ko kanina na kung lahat ng ginastos mo and lahat ng mga na-receive mo na invoice from this particular project, may kita mo siya from your analytic report, from your accounting module. So, you see your analytic entries here. So, this is uh, yung total, kumbaga profit and loss. May kita mo rin siya dito. So, if I go to analytic accounts, these are all the projects. So, project 1, project 2, project 3, project 4. Attached kasi siya sa sales order. Kaya SO yung nakalagay. Pero, may kita, pwede mo siya i-change to the name of the project. So, kunyari, project with um, Alibaba or project with um, Jollibee, for example. Or, kunyari, so ito may kita mo project 4 kanina, yung first example ko. So, pag pumunta ka sa cost and revenue, ito yung one project associated siya dun sa kanina, dun sa timesheet on tasks. So, if I go to cost and revenue, may kita mo, oh, so I had a, a lunch with client A, ito yung development service na in-order niya, ginawa ko, gap analysis. So, ito yung in-earn ko from the project, ito yung ginastos ko for the project, ito yung um, ginastos ko rin for for the project, so ito yung yung ano yung amount ng timesheet hours. Kasi di ba nag-charge yung developer, senior developer, junior developer. So ito yung amount nila per hour. So ito yung binayad, pinangsahod ko sa kanila. Tapos ito yung kumaga kinita ko. So in total, in profit ka. So 110 positive. So ibig sabihin, in total, the project is profitable. So you have a again, general idea that this project was a good project. Um, yeah, so I guess that's it. Um, uh, yeah, so I think we're gonna go with the Q&A if you have any questions for me. All right. Thank you, Gio, for a uh, um, demo. Um, if you guys have any questions, uh, if it's right time to, to ask it in the chat box below, you can ask us either in English or Tagalog. So, um, yeah, if you have, if you are a freelancer and then um, if you are deciding to use Odoo and um, you want to know more, you can always write an email to Gio. The um, email is um, right at the banner below. Or you can actually go to our website and then um, sign up for the demo as well. Right. All if right. you guys have no other questions or you're actually trying it out, um, please feel free to do it. Um, you can play one um, a demo database um, just on the browser and enter demo.odoo.com and that's it. Um, so I guess there's nobody asking anything at the is moment. It, is there a viewer? Mm, yes. How many? Like five people? How do you see five people here? They are only live. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, all right. So see you guys next week. Uh, we have our topic, more interesting um, features and functions uh, on Odoo. So uh, we will stop it now and then see you guys next week. Thank you. Bye-bye.